Hey guys, well uh, it's an exciting day today. I got my West Coast seed order here in this box here. So I'm going to open it up and show you guys what I got for this year and show what I'll be growing. Use a lot of tape here, so give me a second here. Okay, so first thing I got was some more seed trays here. I need some more of the 128s, so I could get a lot more seeds here this year. I think I have about six or seven of them. So that's the first thing I got. Pretty excited for those. Increase my capacity of what I can grow. And I'll just move this out of the way here. So here we go, I got a lot of seeds this year, more than I normally get. Um, so I'll open them up and show you what I've got. So the first package here are cucumbers. I haven't really grown cucumbers before. So I'm gonna try these guys out this year. These ones are called Tasty Emperor. I'm gonna try some eggplants this year. When I was up at John Martin Fortier's farm this year, what they do is plant eggplants in the greenhouse at the end of the rows. So whatever pests come in will attack the eggplants first so then they know what to do to uh, prevent those pests from taking over the greenhouse so I'm gonna try these at the end of my rows I'm not so sure it'll work so well outside just because it's an open area but probably better for a closed enclosed area some Burgess buttercup squash try these guys out they look pretty delicious and I love the color and shape of them so we'll see how those guys go this year I got my red wing onions again so uh, I'll post a video at the end of how I grow those and everything. West Coast Seeds actually has my video from YouTube on their ordering page, so that's pretty exciting as well. I'm gonna grow some dill again. I always do dill because I make my own pickles, so it's handy to have your own fresh dill, garlic, pickling cucumbers. Uh, I'm gonna do butternut squash. I haven't tried these, and I've tried these a few times, and uh, last year I don't think I had much luck with them, so I'm gonna try them again, see how they go. Gonna do some of these scallopinis. Uh, I call them patty pans. These things grew like wildfire last year. I had a plant the size of this, like almost the size of this area here. Kept going, it went right till a frost state. And it even grew after the frost for a while till a really hard frost came. So these are awesome to grow. Here's some other onions I'm gonna try out this year. I've seen these before, the Kelsey. I think that's how you pronounce it. And they can grow super big. Um, I think they grow up to 15 pounds they say. So we're going to try these guys out, see how they fare out. I'm probably going to have to get these guys started with my other red wing onions probably within the next day or so. So that they get a nice big bulb formed on the little shoots before I transplant them out. I'm going to do some more spinach this year, Savoy spinach. I got a lot this year, I have 790 seeds here so I'm going to try and really grow a lot of this stuff for the farmer's market. Arugula, this is first for me, I've never grown arugula. Um, but I'm going to try to grow lots of this for the farmer's market to try to sell these guys. This variety is Astro. I think this one's a little bit spicy it says. So excited to try this out. And I picked up some more basil. Basil grew really well last year in my greenhouse. The variety I'm doing is Dolly. Try this one out. See how they go. I'm going to do some uh, flowers this year as well. I want to just have some more uh, in my rows, head row, rows to attract some of the pollinators and maybe have some of them for cut flowers as well for the market. So I'm going to do some zinnias this year. Try those guys out. I'm going to try some marigolds. Marigolds are great too. Uh, my uncle tried them last year on some of his rows and it helped a lot of the pest away from the pickling cucumbers and squashes and things like that. So I'm going to try some of these guys out, see how they go. Got some cherry tomatoes this year, got some golden nugget. They look pretty delicious. So I'll try these guys out. These ones looked interesting in the seed catalog when I was going through. They're called the Vintage Wine. And I think they are like a brand new wine variety. And they look like they grow up to one pound fruits, it says here. Really unique looking colors. They're kind of red with a little bit of yellow stripes to them. We'll see how those go. Uh, some more baby or cherry tomatoes, early cascade. Some of these varieties I'm doing too, I'm, I've tried to plant so that some are earlier varieties and some are later season varieties so that I have tomatoes hopefully for most of the season. I usually get tomatoes almost near the end of the season so I'm trying to expand when I get tomatoes. 
Uh, here's another variety I'm going to try this year called Oregon Spring. It says these are early tomatoes, so we'll see how these guys go. I grew these zucchini squashes last year, Desert. They grew unbelievably well as well. You really only need to plant like two or three plants of these, especially if you're a small family. They keep going, and if you turn around one day, they'll be as big as your arm. So these, we're going to try those out. I've never had much luck with strawberries, but I'm going to try them again. These ones are Fresca. So I'm going to have to stick these in the freezer for uh, about uh, three, four weeks. They need to uh, get cold, so I uh, feel like they've been outside all winter to help them get a good kickstart. So I'm going to get these in the freezer today. Uh, I'm going to try sunflowers again this year. I planted these ones last year and the chipmunks got them all on me. So I might have to put some kind of cover over them so they don't eat them. Or I start them indoors maybe and then transplant them out. Got a big package of radishes. These are the French breakfast. These grew really well last year. So I'm going to try these ones out. How many seeds did I get in this package? There's like 6,000 seeds. So hopefully uh, radishes sell well this year. This is one of my favorite lettuces I grow from uh, West Coast Seeds. is a super gourmet blend. This one goes really well for me. I'm just growing a little bit this year. This year I'm going to try uh, Hakurai turnips. I've never grown these before. When I was at John Martin Fortier's farm, he was growing these and they tasted amazing. They're like a white little golf ball sized turnip and they were so sweet and moist and they were just absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna try these guys out this year. Yay, new carrots again. I'm gonna try some Napoli carrots this year. So it just comes in a brown package here. And I got like 4,800 seeds in this package, so we'll see how they go. Carrots always have a hard time getting them germinated and staying growing because what happens is I put a board over them once I get them nice and wet and let them germinate really quickly. But once I take the board off, sometimes if it's really hot, they'll uh, just wilt out. So I might try a roll cover after they've germinated to keep the shade on them and get them growing even better this year. So if you want to see a video on how I start my carrots, I'll post that at the end of the video as well. I'm going to do some peas this year, not too many. Um, peas I find they're amazing, but I don't really sell too many at the market. And Well I do, but you don't really have much of a profit ratio on them. So I'm just going to grow a few for myself this year. I'm going to try some mammoth melting sugar. I think these ones are the uh, snow peas. So you can just eat the shells on these guys. And these ones are the little marble, and these are shelling peas. So these ones are really delicious too. I've been growing these ones a few, for a few years now. So there you go guys, that's my West Coast seed order. Um, I may order some more later on if I uh, want to get some more ordered up and try some other varieties, but that's what I'm doing this year. So let me know what you guys are growing as well. I like to see what everyone is growing and it gives me ideas too of what else I can try out. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to hit uh, the subscribe button, hit the little bell too so you get the updates. And don't forget to share my videos around.